where are the main Australian threats going to come from? How do you study them? I think it's a, it's a very balanced team. Um, it's been a couple of years already that uh, they, have a, they have an important set piece, uh, line now, driving more, uh, scrum, and obviously offensive threats uh, in the likes of Paisami or Petaya or Marika Korebiri. Uh, the, the, the threats are coming from, from many, many different places and uh, we just have to be spot on in, on a game plan, a discipline, a kicking game. Um, and control the tempo of the, of the game. Was there anything you want to improve following the All Blacks? I think that the, the most important thing is to have a, a growth mindset and, uh, a key, and keep, keep improving every day, no, not only from game to game, but from training to training and uh, taking out some learnings from, from every training session and every meeting that, that, that we have. And, uh, and I think that's very present in, in, our, in our players, trying to improve every day. So yeah, uh, we, we, we want to improve everything. How important people like Nico Sanchez and his kicking abilities are going to be on Saturday? Well, very important. Uh, I, I hope he, he scores the, the, the same number of, of points he scored on the weekend. Uh, but, uh, but I think that the most important thing, and uh, obviously Nico was validating in some way the, the work that the, the whole team was doing. Um, I think that the, the performance has to, has to be collective and uh, that's what we're, we're aiming for. Mario, Argentina is a team that plays on emotion. Is that something that you have to control or is that what you want your team to be like? Um, I think that we are like, like we are and uh, we, we, we don't want to change and uh, I think emotions are, are a very good thing and passion is a very good thing uh, but, uh, but I, I thought there, there was a lot of control too uh, in, in the way we played there was a lot of discipline too um, and that's the way we, we should be playing I, I think that uh, we should be ambidextrous like um, we, we shouldn't be like one way or the other we should complement and, uh, and elevate one with the other. One of our old school commentators in New Zealand, I'm not sure if you know him, but Keith Quinn uh, this week has come out and said um, he didn't enjoy Argentina crying on screens, he didn't enjoy Dustin Johnson or Lewis Hamilton, um, and basically told grown men to harden up. What would you say to him? Uh, no, no. Well, every, everybody's entitled of having the, the, their own opinion, but uh, I wouldn't be telling anybody to do as, as I want them to do. Everybody's different and, uh, and emotions sometimes are, are, different, are, are difficult to, uh, to control, uh, especially, especially with, with all the things that we've been through and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if he, if he was yeah, in any way, uh, I don't know, angry about it. But um, I think that, uh, again, emotions are a good thing. Uh, he should try. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, Mario, that was a very physical um, game, a lot of taken out of you emotionally in that result. How do you make sure the guys are back up this week for this test? Well, we, we worked a lot on, on being fresh during the week. Uh, obviously, emotionally and physically, it was pretty draining. Uh, and, and obviously, not, not being used to playing that kind of rugby and that kind of intensity for several months now. Uh, so it was a big focus during the week, yeah, it was a big focus. How yeah, do you think Michael Cech is feeling this week? Would he be nervous? Um, I guess so. I was, I was in his place uh, a few years ago and uh, it's, it's never easy. It's never easy and uh, uh, he's a very proud Australian and uh, he's not going to change. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the only thing I would say. Then you, you should ask him. Obviously, made no changes to the starting lineup. Can you talk about changes to the bench and, and what you're trying to do? Um, yeah, we 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 spoke about it uh, thoroughly the first couple of days about changing or not changing, and and obviously on not only on form, which obviously was was good on the weekend, but uh, recovery and, and and seeing how the the boys were feeling, and uh, we decided that. Uh, we will we'll give them a go again uh, on the weekend. Obviously, we changed a couple of names in the 
on the bench we recovered a couple of players that were injured, Isa, Bofeli um, and Sosino. And, and obviously we're counting on them to have a big impact. They, they are, they are uh, experienced players and they, they've played the, this kind of games before. So we're counting on that experience too and that impact coming from the bench. Could, could you, you've had a few days now to think over it. Can, can you rate the performance of your team? I mean, let's say out of 10 uh, last weekend, you're talking about improvement. Ah. Uh, uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to, to put a a number, but uh, I, I I think we we played to the best of our abilities that were our abilities at that moment. We played uh, to a hundred percent of what we we were capable of, and some some of the boys maybe over hundred. And then uh, I don't know how to rate it one to ten, but uh, yeah, we 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 put out there a hundred percent. Mario, what was the hardest thing? over the last few months as a coach to, to get right? What's been the hardest process that you spoke uh, about, the, you know, the, the struggles that you've had? Uh, the maybe, hardest? yeah, that may, uh, uncertainty, uh, I guess. Uh, we, during, uh, yeah, the, the first six months, no, not the six months, from March to maybe July, we, we didn't know what, what was going to happen. And then uh, we, we were always waiting for, for the good news to, to come. and. Obviously, the Hawaii thing happened, and uh, uh, economic crisis, and pandemic, and uh, we were always waiting for that good news. And we kept working, and, and the boys kept working. Well, you 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 all seen the the, the conditions in which they, they were preparing themselves, not knowing what what was going to happen. Not only what was going to happen this year, but what was going to happen next year. Um, Many of them don't have a contract for next year, and or they they don't know what's going to, what's going to be their future like next year, and they just kept grinding and grinding and grinding. And uh, we were always saying uh, we were always saying that uh, the future is 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 built uh, every day, like step by step, and uh, that's what we're concentrating on. But uh, obviously, there were good days and bad days, and uh, no. Uh, we were trying to give them certainty and uh, reassurance and uh, I guess that, that was the hardest part because we, we didn't have it and we had to show ourselves uh, strong and sure of what was going on. Yeah, that, that must have been the, the hardest.